Yeah, this is uncool. Early snowfall. I don't know why we're getting snow at the first part of November, but this puts a damper on my metal detecting aspirations at the moment. Alrighty. An Alright, <clears throat> it stopped snowing <laughs> right after I was bemoaning the fact that it was. And I headed into the woods across from my house in Montana and uh, went up the hillside and it proceeded to start hailing and then freezing rain and then big snow so I didn't record this I dug it up it was heavily tarnished it looks like it's a very heavy gold plate or maybe it's just a solid bronze I'm not sure but I wiped it and I saw that Roma on there with the sunburst and it reminded me of a Italian restaurant banner so I brought it home and I cleaned it off some more and then I noticed that there's 1944 engraved on the bottom and that the Roma and the sunburst that's all hand engraved so that's pretty interesting um, Roma is a plural noun for gypsies Rome would be a gypsy typically a male in 1944, so this is really interesting, uh, brings up some interesting history. Uh, D-Day, uh, the Battle of Normandy, I believe was June of 44 through August of 44, or maybe it was September, I'm not, I can't remember exactly. But the Allied forces uh, liberated Western Europe from the Nazis' control, and uh, yeah, that's gypsy territory. So it's really pretty interesting that this uh, ring has the date of 1944 on it. But I'll show a little blurb here of uh, some information I found on Western European gypsies uh, during World War II. Alrighty, we'll see you on the next. All right, we're in Montana. Got a bit of snow last night here hunting with the kids and my boy Max. Hey, Max! Here he comes. He's a handsome guy. Yep, boys are on a target over there. I'll let you see it if he finds anything interesting. But it's a nice old house. It's probably built in the early 1900s. All right, we'll see you in the next hole. Okay, so the hunt in Montana at that house permission uh, started snowing pretty hard right after I took that video of the boys and my pooch. But uh, here's some of what I found. So here's some clad. We're only here for about an hour and a half. There's four Wheaties, two uh, hose nozzles. Looks like an old overall button there. This sounded like a gold ring. Thought for sure it was. I was hitting 52 and wouldn't come off of that number, which is... Yeah, that's uh, gold on the program that I run. Another little uh, thing. Got a marble. Got a snagging hook there. Dog tag. Your standard house rubbish. And this super cool thing that uh, I'm going to show you right now. Alrighty. I apologize for trying to show you this on a blown up picture on my computer let me show you what I've found on here so right here is the, the banner and I can't read this first it looks like ED at the end but this is law enforcement and I haven't been able to make out that banner yet you can see the inset badge here with the rifle it might even have been cross rifles I'm not 100% sure and then SUP, and obviously the rest is gone. This thing was tossed in a fire. It looks like, oh, look at that. We lost our picture. There, it's back. And then up here, we got an eagle. Here's the eagle's head, and it's even harder to see, but right there is a serpent. And it comes up and goes into the melted area. So, yeah, I'm not exactly sure what this item was, but it looks like it was some kind of law enforcement um, medallion of some sort but that's pretty cool yeah, I don't think it's that terribly old but it uh, was a great deal of fun when I washed it off and saw that it had some detail and started poking around looking at it 
But if anybody recognizes it, yeah, that'd be great. Let me know. It's been like this the whole 500 miles. Well, actually, 400. 60 miles. No, uh, 450 miles. I still have 50 to go. Oh, looks like everybody's slowing down to go down the pass. Yep, not fun. I'm heading back to Washington. It's just taking what I thought was a pull tab. It's a little, little pink charm. Yeah, well, it's definitely better than a pull tab. All right, see you in the next hole. Just dug up a really strange coin. It's about the size of a maybe a little smaller than a 50 cent piece, but it rings up just like a nickel. And actually, I could scratch this stuff off just like a nickel, but I see no detail on it. When I get it home, maybe I'll be able to see something, but I'm guessing this has got to be some kind of token. All right, then, see you in the next hole. Well, that's an odd ball of lead. It could be a musket ball. It's a little bit misshapen, but there's no holes in it. Huh. First one of those I've found on the West Coast. I already seen the next. I just found something interesting. It might be pretty hard to see, but it looks like a, a wreath on a pin. The back appears to be smooth, but there's definitely something going on on this side. I'll get it cleaned up when I get home and let you see. I just thought I'd show you. Well, it looks like this could be pretty cool. Let's take it down to the water here and clean it off and kind of clean the bushes here. So the tide's chasing me out of here. I'm just... <clears throat> oh, look at that. Well, that's pretty sweet. I like that a lot. Wow, look at that thing. Cool. Alright. Stoked to have that. Alright then, see you on the next. Okay, wrap up for the third round down at my bucket list beach started raining on me pretty hard uh, the last half an hour or so that I was down there before I finally gave it up and, uh, I just want to show you some stuff that I found that I did not get recorded so that's a nice old fishing lure there and that's actually the hat of a toy soldier a lead toy soldier and you saw the little wreath and this I'm not sure what these are I find these all over the place on the beaches it must be some kind of marine rivet or something but I found a number of those and this is a pretty cool button it looks like a pile of snakes I'm not sure what that actually is just I'm sure it's a uh, civilian button so no, it's a two-piece the back's missing so that's an older button and this coin that I found is uh boy i thought it was going to be an old one but actually it's a peso coin from mexico and i think it's uh, late 60s early 70s all right let's see so these guys here so this one i found on the beach down there i found one of these at pretty much every beach i've hunted around here and i'm not sure what they are but this one actually says mandy on there. Oops. Let's see if we can get this to focus a little better. Yeah, it's hard to see. It says Mandy and then it says 82 down below. And it looks like, I mean, those are expanding anchors. I'm not sure what these were used for. It's just, it's just interesting. I can't figure it out. And then a uh, beautiful piece of fancy. Absolutely 
Love that. And another piece of fired lead. Looks like I got uh, eight Wheaties. I got a, my first shotgun shell that actually still has paper. Apparently the salt water protected that pretty well. Got this musket ball, which I'm almost positive that's what that is. Interesting, I've never found a musket ball on the west coast. I found I have quite a collection of musket balls that I found, but never found one over here. And this thing is is giant. It's got the the little form tip right there still on it. So that's the musket ball, and that's a 50 caliber mini ball. And I also found this really cool. Oh, sorry, it's hard to <laughs> make your hands go where you want. It's got an H printed on it, and it's a rim fire, but it's got two two strikes across from each other and it's a pretty big shell I mean that's a 50 caliber mini ball there so I'm guessing that's a 40 cal rim fire maybe a little bit bigger but that's an interesting interesting find and this guy here another one of those lead plant display old bases and this was actually sitting on the surface sticking up like a booby trap almost stepped on it but the detector heard it first and so, one of my favorite finds, oh, I got one other silver that I didn't get recorded either. It was just too wet. But it appears to be a 190-something barber, maybe 1906. So that's pretty cool. So off of that beach, these are the silvers that I have found. I got four mercs, that barber, the uh, seated, and this peace dollar, which I actually... This one first, here's the burn Merc that I found a video or two ago. I put it in electrolysis for about 60 seconds and it cleaned up that well, so I decided the peace dollar was so roached that I'd give that a shot. And it cleaned up pretty nice. I mean, it's just absolutely battered from the salt, but it's a much better looking coin now that it's got some of that tarnish off it. And then one of my favorite finds, so... I really wish I would have got this recorded, but it was just raining too hard, and I could not believe what I thought it was. But check this out. So I dug that up, and looking at it, it was all full of sand, top and bottom. And I'm like, man, that looks like a toilet. I'm like, it can't be a toilet. How could it be a toilet? It's got to be some kind of odd fitting that looks like a toilet. So I stuck it in my pouch. And I came home, and so I started digging my rubbish out of my pouch started cleaning it up and I cleaned out the bowl there and there's no hole and I'm like oh, that's just so bizarre and then I cleaned out the base and I started seeing some lettering and I keep looking and digging and there it is Tootsie Toy that is a late 20's Tootsie Toy toilet made for a dollhouse so apparently Tootsie Toy for a few years, not very long, made dollhouse furniture. And this is actually one of the rarest of the pieces. I mean, who's ever heard of a dollhouse toilet? But is that not super cool? That is probably my favorite Tootsie Toy I've ever found. And if you watch my videos, you know that I love the old kids' toys. And the camera's just not wanting to focus again. I'll put another picture of this up that's a little bit better. But that's super cool. So another great hunt down at the beach there. I actually gridded the uh, hot spots where I found the concentrations of fines. And boy, I went over it pretty good, but you know, you just, you just miss stuff. I can't explain it, but you really do. I mean... I went the opposite direction over this beach, which I pounded before and pulled all this out. I'm pretty sure it's getting, uh, the finds are getting pretty thin, but I bet you I find some more cool stuff in those areas. Because it blew me away what I found this time going over the areas I've already hunted. Alrighty then. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Thanks for commenting and liking and all that stuff. And we will see you in the next hole. Cheers.